Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my natural hair. I've been natural for three years now. This month I actually made three years. I can't remember the date. I think it was like the 11th or the 15th. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my length. Um, So it's going to be like a little length check. And I'm also going to talk about some things, some tips and different things that I learned throughout the three years of being natural. And also you guys can comment down below any tips or anything that you have that you would like other people to know about being natural. So don't be scared to comment down anything. Don't be scared to ask any questions because somebody here should have the answers. If I don't have the answers, somebody watching probably has the answers. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys see anybody and ask any questions, just help them out. This video is really going to be a video about supporting everyone that is natural and just trying to help another natural girl out. So like I was saying, I've been natural for three years and these three years have been literally the roughest three years ever. Um, I went into like the whole natural hair journey thinking that it would be easy. And that's one thing that I want to tell you guys. It is not going to be as easy as you think, especially if your hair type is more coily or whatever, like mine's. Now, I went into the journey looking at people's hair types that was totally different from mine. And I want to tell you guys this right now. Do not do that. Do not look at somebody with 3C hair and expect when you cut your hair off for it to just come out like that now some people probably looked up and like was like oh she has 3c hair she has 3b hair and i'm gonna cut my hair off and it's gonna be like that and some people probably did but me on the other hand i was looking at videos of people's hair that was totally different from mine so when i did cut my hair off i was shocked i don't want y'all to be like me don't be don't just don't so do not look at other people's hair textures and just automatically assume that that's how your hair is going to be period okay okay another thing that i learned in the three years of being natural is that the natural hair journey you have to have a lot of patience you have to be patient you have to do trial and error with styles. You cannot rush your hair growth. Everybody hair grows differently. That's another thing. I expected my hair to be freaking down my back by now, but I have to I had to like realize your hair is not like everybody else's. Just because somebody has 4C hair and you think you have 4C hair or you know you have 4C hair and their hair is down their back, that does not mean that your hair is going to be down your back in like two years okay i don't know why i thought that but i did and that was something that i had to learn the hard way and still to this day i kind of find myself thinking like okay at three years is my natural hair supposed to be like this length or is it supposed to be longer but i mean my hair is not super super short shrinkage is real that's another thing um just because somebody's hair looks short does not mean that their hair is short just because your hair um looks like this on your head that does not mean that your hair is like this on your head people with hair like this hair be stretched out like this so i mean it's just like you have to learn your hair being natural you really have to sit there take time back to patience you have to be patient you have to figure out products that are going to work for your hair you got to figure out your hair's porosity you got to figure out um like what products your hair like what products your hair doesn't like what products dry your hair out what products make your hair more moisturized um does your hair work better with heat or without heat like it's trial and error with everything that's another thing learning what works best for your hair and like if you have time for your hair so a lot of people don't really have time like if you're in school and you work and stuff like that or you have kids and stuff like that um you kind of sometimes don't have enough time to put out like 
five hours to torch natural hair and I'm not exaggerating sometimes it takes me literally five hours to do everything for my hair and it's this length so like if it was longer oh my gosh but I am a lazy natural what is a lazy natural a lazy natural is someone that doesn't do too much to their hair and that's probably why my hair is not at its best but I mean it's not at its worst either but honestly wash my hair condition it all that stuff braid it up put a wig on it I don't touch my hair but another thing is I notice that if I wear my natural hair out too much it causes my head to hurt I don't know why it does that but my head starts to hurt so like I took braids down last night and I'm wearing my hair like this today probably won't be able to wear my hair like this for too long because my head will start to hurt I don't know if it's because of the texture I don't know if I don't know but my head will start to hurt so braids protective styling is my go-to I also feel like the more I do to my hair the more it like sheds and although in braids your hair is still shedding but I mean like I feel like my hair sheds way more with like that what else can I say what else am I missing out um there's some people on YouTube that will sit and tell you that, oh, drinking a whole bunch of water, oh, your diet, oh, you need to exercise for your hair to grow. I mean, I haven't tried those things. I don't like water. I don't eat healthy. And I haven't exercised since I injured myself in like February. So, I mean, my hair is still growing. It's not growing super fast, but I mean, don't just take everything people say and just go with it there are some people that are sit up here and tell you that if you freaking put mayonnaise in your hair it's gonna be down your back and y'all go do it and then be mad because it's not down your back but i'm like you gotta realize and you gotta um you gotta figure out what works for you that's like the the main tip of them all realize what works for you and your hair if somebody is up here telling you aloe vera works in their hair, it may or it may not work in your hair. But you can't, and then you can't just give up. You have to be consistent. Consistency is also key. Um, what the people that were doing the rice water. I did the rice water and my hair did get thicker, but I wasn't consistent. So I, did, I couldn't really come up here and be like, oh, my hair grew down so much or... My hair was so thick because I wasn't consistent. And then I can, you can't be mad at the other people that were saying that their hair grew down their back because you weren't consistent, sis. So, but whatever you do, you have to be consistent. And consistent is not two weeks. Consistent is more than a month. Consistent, like, you got to do that for probably... I feel like to actually get some true results, six months to a year of consistency doing it the same like did my arm just jiggle oh my gosh yikes but anyways yeah consistency is key with anything you do like me i need to be consistent get in the gym because this <laughs> this was just jiggling like oh but yeah y'all i feel like that's super important consistency um patience consistency and patience play a big role in being natural a super super big role like do not do not think that you're gonna have like no you you have to be consistent um everyone's journey is going to be different you everybody has had bad hair days you're gonna have a whole bunch of nervous breakdowns doing your hair i tried to do a flexi ride set on my natural hair and it came out so trash and i had somewhere to be 
I mean, it's just gonna, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to try to do a lot of things. And yeah. Also, I'm horrible at picking out my hair, y'all. But anyways, yeah. I just feel like I should give those tips. Those, those are some, some really important tips. This is a no hair growth um, video. But, um, my lymph check. Let's get into that because this video is getting kind of long. And you guys know, if you watched my channel before, I don't like long videos. Long videos means <sighs> nobody wants to watch that. And I don't want to edit that. So yeah, but let's see. And y'all can see like my hair is like growing out. But this is like where my natural hair is right now. Right there. And then the front. I remember when my hair used to be like right to the top of my lip. So it's growing. It's like right there. I think. But she just got Buku shrinkage. That's a piece that should come be off of us. Like They, yeah. My hair, she's grown. Um, if I can find like a picture of my hair, because I honestly I transitioned for eight months before I did cut my hair off. If I can find a picture of like when I first cut my hair off, I'll like link it somewhere. It might pop up right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. So yeah, if you have any tips, anything that you've learned by being natural, any questions, comment them down below. The comment section is open for all things natural hair. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, why haven't you? Go ahead and join the fam. We're only going up from here. And your subscribe would be greatly appreciated. So... I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.